Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is a friend and Atlantic City's own Pat Fasano, developer extraordinaire. Absolutely extraordinaire. Come on, Mike, you know that. Pat, welcome <laughs> to the show, man. So glad that you're out here. Yeah. Listen, folks, you're going to have to stay with us. We're going to have to keep waking this gentleman up because he's got no energy. Listen, <laughs> Pat, we know what you're doing in Atlantic City, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that as we go on with this interview. But do me a favor. Just let our viewers know a little bit about you, a little bit about that Asbury Park move, and then sure. what we were doing. Hey, you know, uh, we started way back in New Brunswick when it was nothing there, you know, and I was surprised when I got to Atlantic City and I saw Devco was here. I said, oh, Chris Palladino, Devco. Then I saw Borai was here from New Brunswick. So that was like the, the old New Brunswick crew I'm finding in Atlantic City. I'm like, something's got to be right. And I was looking for the next spot because Asbury Park was a lot of fun for a long time and then it just you know, hit the wall. You know, there's like no more you can do. You know, there's no more property you could buy. There's no more buildings you could buy. So where do you go next? So everybody kept asking me, Pat, where's the next Asbury Park? We want to get in on it. And I'm telling you right now, this is it. It's Atlantic City. Don't be afraid. The weather's fine. Come on in. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And like you said, we, we met maybe four or five years ago. And uh, I think it was at, at a, at a, at a City Hall meeting, and you were doing something there, and I was like, New York approvals, Avenue, yeah. Approvals. And I was like, yeah. looked at this dude, and I was like, New York Avenue, what Hell are you going yeah. to do out there? So, you know, you, you did this thing, touch, go back a little bit more with the Asbury Park, what you kind of did there, and your, your, your investment friends, what you did, and then New York Avenue, and then move on. When I got to Asbury Park, literally $5,000 I paid for the first building downtown. That's how, it was tumbleweeds. No one, no one was on Cookman Avenue. So like, you know, you didn't buy a building, you bought a city block. You right. know, and that's what we did. And it was me and a core group of guys in Asbury Park back in the early, in the, in the late 90s and the early 2000s, just buying buildings up downtown, opening businesses. I bought my first liquor license for 50,000 bucks. We opened Bond Street Bar. Bond Street Bar is still running strong. Right. You know, so we, Bond Street Bar, I mean, we got so busy. We, had, we opened a bar with a hole in the wall bar with 40 seats and we wanted to make sure it looks busy. So we put a shuffleboard table in there too. So you're like, this is some the bar. Yeah, some exactly. Take up some more real estate, you know? And it got so busy with Johnny Mac coming in and the beer garden, everybody, that we had to expand to the complex next door. And now we're gangbusters in Asbury Park. I mean, there's a line out the door to get in every night. It's crazy. So where's the next spot? Where can we do it again? Because now, you know, we need the next, the next exciting spot. And Atlantic City is just so positioned so well to come back. But we got to bring it back block by block, just like we did in Asbury Park. It's hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's block by block. You got to fight to take it back, but it's worth saving. And, and that's exactly right. Yeah. I'm one of the ones who, you know, go back to 1854 when uh, uh, Dr. Jonathan <laughs> Pitney. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, Dr. Jonathan Pitney, you know, health and wellness and fun. Yeah. And, you know, it was the world's playground. It wasn't self-proclaimed. It was what the world named it. And then what you're doing out there is is bringing the revitalization back. You know, you're bringing the streets. And you took a street that was kind of rough, you know, not kind of, was rough, rough. is rough, right? It was a, a the time. Dead zone. And the dead zone. And you've talk about Bray and, and talk about some of those concepts that you had because we would talk throughout the years. Three weeks ago, we had 3,000 people there for Frantic City. Come on, Yolo Tango. I mean, Murder City Devils, uh, B Bouncing Souls came. It was great to see that kind of excitement and, and, and that many people on the street. And it, what started off as, as me meeting two young guys, Evan and Zenith, mm -hmm. and they came to, to Asbury Park to see me at Bond Street Bar, and I liked these kids. I'm like, I'm going to come see in Atlantic City. And they showed me what they were doing on Tennessee Avenue. I said, hey, guys, this is great. But I'm going to buy the next three blocks. <laughs> <laughs> and I quietly did. I quietly did. We're all the way up to Kentucky. So people don't know, but we own literally three city blocks, and we have plans to continue to develop the Orange Loop. It's going to be incredible. So you know, right now we got a 15,000-square-foot new building going up. It's going to be recreational marijuana on the first floor because we're in the green zone. So we're the Orange Loop in the green zone, and we got MPX going to be in there for our first uh, Recreational marijuana upstairs. We got a part, eight new apartments. Very modern building. A building like when when you see it finished with you know ninety thousand dollars worth of Marvin windows and you know yeah. the people are gonna say what's this guy doing building this building here? Right. And the, but that's where it starts. I'm gonna show you how much confidence I have. I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. I'm gonna show you it works. And then they're all gonna come in. And 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 the floodgates are gonna open. You're gonna see what's gonna happen to, to Atlantic City. It's gonna be incredible. And what you're saying there too is like we talk about a revival and trying to bring the city back block by block. And sure. I believe part of it is investors, right? Definitely investors such as yourself. Yeah. But 
but also you need those millennials, whatever you want to call them. Oh, People man. move, young men and women moving in, whether they're getting sure. married, uh, they were Stockton University graduates and they take that degree, keep it here, move down to New York. That's, I think, an important element that we need to raise it forward and talk about a little bit because I know that's building, been discussed. Building and they will come. I mean, it's such an old saying, but it's yeah. so true. It's like, oh, why don't people live in the land? Well, where are they going to live? Right. I'm going to show you where they're going to live. The, the apartments, the style that we're doing, the apartments are like New York lofts. People come in and they're like, wow, this is Atlantic City? And the price point is so much less than surrounding areas. I mean, everybody knows what's happening with rents. Rents are going yeah. up, up, up. I mean, it's all over. But Atlantic City, it's still that little we sweet spot. It a little bit still, prior to the yeah. It's a little leveraged right still. So go ahead and talk to your other, you know. Yeah, so I mean, look. Um, the recession's coming. Okay, I started when Jimmy Carter was the president. <laughs> My first loan was like 18%. I was thrilled. Okay, I think Prime was 21. Right. So you had to tell me about it. Oh, 6%. Oh, my God, what do we do now? <laughs> amateurs, amateurs, okay? So real estate prices went through the moon, okay? So, yeah, a house that used to be 300000 in Asbury Park is a million dollars now. A house that used to be 300000 in Atlantic City is... 150. I mean, it's, come on. it's like, why? Like, why? Beachfront property. I mean, we just bought a two family a block from the beach for $200,000. I, I, I bought a penthouse apartment on the 27th and 28th floor of the Enclave for $200,000. What? $200,000 is a down payment anywhere else. Right. That's the purchase price here. So, I mean, where are you going to go but Atlantic City? Atlantic bring City. your bring your heart in. Come, come, bring your titled masses. Like the man come said, see me. The weather is good <laughs> and it's fine. Talk to us now about a little bit of your love for music, what's going on, and we're going to touch on a couple other projects. I heard some little bird in my ear saying something about Renaissance, but talk to us about that that music scene. I mean, Lang City's had music. We've always had music, but you're bringing that uh, like seven days a week, that crazy man Steve Weiss you got working over there Listen, does a great job. Talk the, to us. The big difference, I mean, look, Atlantic City has some of the greatest entertainment in in New Jersey or in the state, in, in the country for that matter, okay? But it's in soundproof rooms inside casinos and nobody really knows what's going on unless you got a ticket. Right. So I'm trying to bring it like the Stone Pony to the street. I, my house is right behind the Stone Pony. My, from my deck, I got back seat. I got backstage. So from my house on 3rd and Kingsley, I'm looking at his porta, his, here's the Stone Pony, and then they built this you know, high rise next to me, okay? Uh, but it doesn't block my view. It's it's a nice building. You know, the bar apartment started a million and a half. They go up to five million. They're almost sold out. They're doing good. <laughs> okay, but uh, the street, the music is it. Like when you walk down the boardwalk in Atlantic City, you know who's at the Pony. You know who's at the Wonder Bar. You know who's on the roof of of the hotel. I mean, the music's in the air. It's in the street. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's why we got the summer stage. That's why we're doing the outdoor shows. That's why we we put speakers around Boo Ray, and we're going to just. Let you know, put the music out there. Let people hear the music, okay? How about music in the street instead of people fighting and screaming, okay? No, exactly, yeah, I mean, I love it. Yeah. Nobody likes to show more than I do, and like you said, I believe, you know, I love our casinos and the, the, what they do with the shows and the beach stuff, but it's on the street when yeah. I'm walking down Pacific Avenue or on the boardwalk or going up and down, and I'm like, wow, listen to that, and I jump in my truck and I'll pull up, and, and there it is, it's going on right there. Yeah. And I believe it's finally, for many years been living here, the boardwalk folks would stay on the boardwalk. The uh, folks on Pacific Avenue, if they're going somewhere, they go in and pull in. And you're right when you say they're walking off, coming off New York Avenue, the Orange Loop, and checking out what you got. I mean, you got to be seeing that besides regular ticket buyers. Hey, you know, it all started with the Rutgers study. I right. mean, that's how that's how it started with Evan and Zenith, my, my, first, my first two partners. Now I have a whole group of partners that have joined me. But they were, they were the first two. And uh, they directed me to the Rutgers study. It was called the Downtown Loop. And it identified what was called the dead zone between the Claridge and resorts as like, this could be the most promising area to build a downtown. And I'm like, you know what I love about Asbury Park is I can walk from downtown to the beach. From my, I can just, and I, I love that, the downtown beach, downtown beach thing. And I said, I can do that. But uh, Atlantic City doesn't have a downtown. We got to build one. And we're going to start right here on New York Avenue, and 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 you know what Mark Colazzo, what he's doing right. at, at the Beer Garden, and with and Rhythm and Spirits, and what his his little scene, and and what the what, uh, Ocean Avenue. Oh my God, the change in Ocean Avenue. Kirk and those doing yes. the Airbnbs. God bless them. I mean, 
John and John and Ryan, a couple yeah, young yeah, entrepreneurs yeah, talking to them also. Came, yeah. came, came in. They're doing the Airbnb. So Paul and Ashley, another young couple, moved here from New York. I mean, it's happening. If it, it, it's one thing when you're there alone and you're like, you know, am I am I making the right decision? Right. It's it's different when you see that. Wow, all and they're not they're they're great people. Right. These aren't just people. Right. These are great people that really care. And really, you're going to make a difference Long because Acre one man, yeah, John Longacre. I don't want to leave him out. I mean, yeah, the Anchor yeah. Rock Club, the the Armory. Yeah, great job. I mean, great there's job. more and Love more it. coming in. Odin Odin uh, Properties coming in from Philadelphia. They're going to start that New York Avenue project. You know, there's just so much happening. Three years, I'm going to tell you something. In three years, you're going to be like, wow, oh, I got to kick myself in the butt for not buying in Atlantic right. City. Yeah, it's you know, good. like you said, the weather's good. You know, come in. One of the things that you've touched touched on too, and and. We're going to talk more about it when you come back, because you're definitely going to have to come back. <laughs> it's Renaissance. Tell us a little bit. Of, we got about two minutes, Pat. Hey, so look, tell man. us a little bit about what that project's like. I'll tell you what. You know, it was, it was a train I missed, but then it came back around the track. You know, <laughs> so three, so Stay three, out there, right? three years ago, it went up for auction. This building's been empty since 2015. It was built in 1985. I mean. The, it's like windows on the water. I'm, it's right next to Roxanne. Roxanne's Atlantic Palace, right. and then here it is La Renaissance, right next to it. It's little little sister at 11 stories, you know. And uh, it sat empty since two. So I missed it at an auction, and then it came back around. I mm -hmm. got the phone rang. You're Pat Fasano. I heard you're the right guy. <laughs> I said I could be the right guy. What's it? <laughs> and and Dave, awesome. I made the deal with Dave, and we we closed on the Renaissance. We're in there working. We filled. We got a great crew in there, and, and we filled 500-yard uh, dumpsters already. 100-yard wow. dumpsters. Wow. I mean, not 30s, no, hundreds. Like hundreds. You know, the, that's <laughs> going to be awesome. Yeah. Again, beautiful part of the boardwalk. Yeah. Um, you know, that's part of what we were going to talk about, and we're running out of time. But make it Don't Atlantic worry. City better. I mean, it, that's what you're... It's coming back. That's what you it's say, right. It's on the comeback trail. Right. And, and, you know, recession, come on, I'm going to build right through this. That means I can get... Workers easier. I can get material cheaper. Don't worry. Come on, let's go. There you go. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> so, so, folks, listen. The guy, you'll see him out there on New York Avenue throughout now Renaissance. He's always doing work. That's where I saw him. I met him, and I'm yeah. so glad I did because he brings a smile to my face, and it's hard work. It's hard work what you've done, but you've done the work. You it's put your rewarding. money where your mouth is. It's rewarding. It really is. And I it's mean, benefited yeah, Atlantic yeah. City I and mean, employees. You know, money's worth nothing. It's, it's the energy you can make. You know, it's like you got to make it. It's energy. you got to move it through the universe. That's so right. That's what we're going to do. And it's going to attract more and more people and more and more investment. And stay tuned. Stay tuned. There you go, folks. <laughs> Here's the man right here. So glad you're with us. Pat, thank you so much for coming on to the show. We really appreciate it. No problem, Mike, anytime. Listen, we can't wait to have you back. Folks, stay right where you're at. We'll be right back.